Disclaimer. Vikings didn't wear horned helmets, but they look cool, so I'm drawing them like that anyways. Deal with it. <laughs> People are sometimes terrible. Eric the Red was born in Norway around the year 950. Ten years later, his father, Thorvald Asvaldsson, was exiled from Norway for murder. So Eric and his dad left for Iceland. Then in 980, some of Eric's thralls accidentally caught the landslide, which crushed his neighbor Valjof's house. Oops. So one of Valjof's relatives, Eolf the Filthy, killed Eric's thralls in revenge. You killed Valjof! Now you die! So in revenge for killing his thralls, Eric killed Eolf the Filthy. You killed my thralls. Now you die. So then Eolf the Filthy's relative put him on trial for murder and had him exiled to another part of Iceland. Of course, nobody cared that Eolf murdered Eric Thralls. Hashtag Thrall Life Matter. Two years later, living on an island he had claimed, he bought some set stoker, large beams with symbols that had religious significance, to his new neighbor, Thorgist. When Eric went to reclaim them, Thorgist refused to give them back. So Eric stole them. Worried that Thorgist would try to take them back, he set up an ambush on him and his clan. A brawl occurred, and Eric ended up killing two of Thorgist's sons. Once again, Eric was banished, but at this time he was banished from the entire country of Iceland. He had heard about a large landmass discovered by a man named Gunjorn Ulfsson. Gunjorn tried to sail from Norway to Iceland, but was blown off course and sighted some islands off the coast of where is now Greenland. He didn't land. So Eric decided to sail to Greenland. He reached Greenland in the winter of 982 to 83 and stayed on an island located off the coast which he called Eriksay or Eric's Island. Then in the spring, Eric headed to a nearby fjord which he called Eric's Fjord. During the summer, Eric and his crew discovered uninhabited islands to the west, all of which were named after Eric. He then named the mainland Greenland despite the northern regions of the country getting snow year round. Why? To make the land more appealing to would-be settlers. Greenland. That sounds better than Iceland. Let's move there. This place is icier than Iceland. Oh, uh, we got you. We got you so good. His colonization of the icy Greenland was overshadowed by his son Leif Erikson discovering North America. Historical accounts of Leif's journey differ. Some say he discovered North America accidentally when he tried to sail to Greenland. Others say he sought after the continent after hearing about it from an Icelandic trader. Either way, when Leif landed in North America, he and his crew built a large house. He found that the winter was frost free and the soil was good for growing grapes, so he called it Vinland. Which means Wineland. Imagine what he would have called it if he found the soil unfit for growing grapes. This soil is unfit to grow grapes, but there's plenty of grass. I think this land would be good for cattle farming, so I'll call it Milkland. Historians were unsure where Vinland actually was, but in 1963, archaeologists found ruins of a Viking type settlement in Lons o Meadows in northern Newfoundland. So, Newfoundland is Vinland. Imagine if people have kept the name. Okay, class. So the ten provinces are British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario, Quebec, New Brunswick, PEI, Nova Scotia, and Wineland. At one point, the Vikings tried trading dairy products with the Native Americans, who they called Graylings. The Natives, however, having never had cheese in their life, were lactose intolerant. They assumed that the Vikings had poisoned them and attacked them. The Vikings then fled and left behind Freydis, Eric's daughter who was Eric's daughter. Duh. She scared off the natives with a sword that one of the Vikings had dropped and went into hiding. She then became a farmer to survive on her own, until eventually the Vikings rescued her. A year later, she led a second expedition, bringing two ships. Unfortunately, one of the ships sank. And basically, this happened. News. One of the ships sank. Fortunately, nobody died. Hmm. But all the food from the ship is lost. Yes. Are we still have the same number of mouths to feed? Yeah. Kill them all. Since it was considered barbaric in Viking society to kill a woman if she was unarmed, the crew refused to kill five women. So Freitas killed them herself. When they finally did get to Newfoundland, they got in a battle with the natives and fled it once again. Freitas once again went on an expedition, this time with two Icelandic brothers, Finborgi and Helgi. When they arrived, they formed separate settlements due to irreconcilable differences. Then Freitas told her husband that one of them had attacked her and threatened divorce if he didn't kill them and their crew. Once again, Freitas killed the woman herself. Then they returned to Greenland having accomplished basically nothing. Because mass murder would be punished by exile, Freitas said, Brothers and their crew like the 
land so much that they decided to stay there. The truth, of course, came out later. Despite Eric the Red doing some pretty terrible things, he did colonize Greenland, and without Greenland being colonized, Leif Erikson would have never discovered North America. So those murders gave us our continent. Except, actually, they completely gave up on colonizing it because the natives threw stuff at them, and Christopher Columbus rediscovered it in 1492. And Freitas' murders, yeah, they were entirely pointless. But she did invent the sleeping bag, so that's cool, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks to Honest Dick Productions, Fell Foot in the Bucket, George Does a Thing, my sister Emma, and Fox Girl Animates for voice acting in this video. If you want to voice act in the next past episode, just comment, I want to be in past, and I'll YouTube message you. Have any suggestions for people to talk about in future past episodes? Leave them below. Share, like, comment, and subscribe.